Hello, I'm Jamie, welcome to my house, and this is what I'm into. Come on in. We are Barry, Ben, Jamie, and Mike, the guys from Sorted Food. When it comes to cooking, everyone likes different things. So today, join us in one of our homes to see what we love to eat and why. Get ready, because we're making it personal. One of the places I've spent a lot of time recently is Spain. So when we were deciding what recipes we should come up with, for me, it had to be Spanish, it had to be tapas, and also fresh fish is in abundance in Spain, so... We're gonna do some white bait. So very simple, floured, and we're also gonna make a homemade mayonnaise, kind of aioli thing, nice. with the flavors of chorizo, or chorizo in it, because I know chorizo. that's also one of your favorite ingredients. So si. very simple, and we'll start with that. All we need to do is separate out two eggs. We just need the egg yolks into the machine, in with the egg yolks, some sort of vinegar or acid. In this case, red wine vinegar, or you could go for sherry vinegar. They like yeah. their sherry in, uh, in Spain. You've got all sorts of other sort of Spanish liqueurs kicking around, haven't you? Oh, yes I have. Now I think some of the best souvenirs you can bring back from anywhere are the stuff you can eat and drink. And this is one of my favourite drinks. It's a liqueur, a Spanish liqueur, and it's absolutely gorgeous just on the rocks. Oh, that's good. Or it's even better with a drop of milk, which I thought was really strange, but actually it's delicious. It's not the only thing I brought back from Spain though. This little dude is called an Underlaw Man. It's basically a good luck charm from Spain. If you have one of these on the front of your house, it means no evil can pass through. Which is a little bit strange, really, because Mike and Barry got in with no problems. Season up, salt and pepper, and then to it we're gonna add one clove of garlic, and the small kitchen pepper. things get lost. It's not that small, <laughs> it's, it's just a house. Close it's not it. a like studio. It. So because garlic is very, very strong when it's raw, literally half a clove gonna go in there as well, and then we'll blend all of that up, and start to dribble in the oil a little bit at a time. So we've okay. got rapeseed oil, so it's a nice golden colour. And the important thing is it drips in nice and slow, and if you're doing it by hand, really slow to start off with and continually whisk. Cool. So that is a very, very simple mayonnaise, or with the garlic, could it be garlic? With the garlic? With the garlic, could be considered aioli. Taste that, see what you think. Now we're going to start to make it even more of chorizo. It's raw garlic. Chorizo with some smoked paprika. Oh, nice. A little bit of fresh parsley going there, blend that up, yep. and that is our aioli done. I'm struggling with my words today. Is it aioli or aioli? Well, how did you say aioli. it? Aioli. Aioli or aioli? If you know, comment below, because I've always called it aioli, but you've always called it aioli. Aioli, yeah, I think. What do you reckon? Blend. And that is it, job done. So, so simple, really, really quick. Transfer that into a dish to serve it in later on. And this is amazing. So these are tiny little fish, sprats. Sprats. Sometimes called sprats. So still complete with eyes and head and internal bits and everything. I can't tell you how much this freaked Barry out. Yes. It really quite, freaked him out. A plate of these were a bit worrying to Barry. So all we need to do with them is very, very simple, just flour them. Because I have seen these done in sort of breadcrumbs and, and things like that. Yeah, for me, I think keep it even simpler than that. Just a generous handful of our white bait, more salt, more pepper, and that's it. I don't want to add anything else to this. Let it kind of do its own thing. And that's it, you just need to go into the oil 180 degrees Celsius for a few minutes. Now when we were talking about how we should serve them up, I said, Ben, no, we cannot serve them any other way than in obviously a little terracotta dish made in Spain, obviously, but all tapas comes in this sort of thing. Because they're small portions, things yeah. to share, little bits of everything, and it just looks the part, so stick and with it. There's two amazing things I find about Spain. One is the scenery, and one is the food. Apparently all I do is bang on about being in Spain, but, you know, okay, I might have mentioned the word chorizo every now and then. I might have wanted a cerveza instead of a beer. And I might have said funny phrases like, Comodelo con karma, which means easy tiger. That's a funny phrase. It's not like I've been to Morocco and based every recipe on it, is it? I mean, the truth is, oh yeah, I have spent a bit of time in Spain recently because my wife's family have a place out there, but you know, no soy un acasado. We just dress our rocket with a bit of yeah. lemon juice, and these can all be scooped out and drained off. And that's them, look, good to go, nice and crispy. Try one of those straight off nice while they're still incredible. super hot and good to go. Mm. And the thing with this food, it takes no time at all. So here it is, personal to you. You wanted yes. something Spanish, something tapas, something with fish. We got our fried white bait with chorizo inspired uh, aioli, sorted. Or aioli, it depends what you say. Comment down below.
Now I'm in Spain. That's good. Crispy, fishy and delicious. If you've not tried white bait before, don't get put off by the way it looks. Just eat it, it's delicious. And obviously this one, very personal to you. Mm. Your Spanish tapas influence. But we want to know from you guys, what food is personal to you? Comment down below.